welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup and it is time for another repurchase review. So at the end of every month, I like to go through everything that I featured on my channel that month and whether or not I would repurchase it and what my current favorites are. So let's go ahead and get started. And we are starting uh, from the beginning of the month. We're going to start off with the Guerlain Velvet Lipsticks. So there are quite a few of these. This is a brand new lipstick line from Guerlain and they've got these gorgeous fabric cases. So you can see you've got the houndstooth, you have, there's, um, you know, the tweed and the plaid and I got five of the six. So I really like them. This black one, it's a little hard to tell. It's quilted and there's kind of like a little chain print that does the quilting. I do really like these. I particularly like the cases. I actually like the cases more than I like the lipsticks. Um, I do think that they are a nice velvet lipstick, but they're not my favorite velvet lipstick. That being said, there are some shades that I really like. I really like 880, which is the uh, ruby red. It's a great classic red. I also really, really love the black red shade. I forget what this one is called, but it's number 910. And this one I feel like is just very, very unique for these, um, you know, it's just a, a more unique lipstick shade. So this is what it looks like. You can see it's kind of like a berry shade with a touch of like gray or black to it. it it's kind of plummy and I personally really like it. If you're not familiar with these cases, they do fold open so that you have a full size mirror so you can check your application and these are refillable. So you purchase, this is how the lipstick comes and then this case you purchase separately. And I really, you know, I love all of the cases. I like the, the colors I picked. I can't say if I were to do it again, I'd probably get all of the same shades. But that being said, my favorites are probably the 880 and the 910. And I also really like, um, I forget what the other number is. Oh, 888. So those are all shades that I really, I really like a lot. So I think that's good. And one more actually, this new shade, this is a nice one. This one here is number 360, I believe it says. Oh, gosh, sorry, I got it in between my veins. So it's kind of got a gap there, but you can see it's a really pretty like nude shade. And I like how these have like a little bit of a blurring effect on the lips, kind of like what I have on now, which is a Givenchy sheer velvet. You can see that they go on kind of blurred and velvety looking. You can build them up if you'd like. And the Guerlain are a little bit more pigmented than that. So overall, those are like, they're a repurchase, but not necessarily a must have if you're looking for the very best velvet lipstick formula, in my opinion. I think the Givenchy, uh, velvets they they're my favorite <laughs> so moving on we have the chanel ultra latent foundation that was reformulated as well as the concealer and they have expanded the shade selection so i have bd01 in the foundation and br02 in the concealer and i'm happy to say that i finally have a match these give a beautiful kind of like satin velvet look to the skin it's a matte but it's not a dry matte I really like these. They are definitely a repurchase for me. I really enjoy those. Moving on, we also have the new line from Rosie Huntington Whitley, the Rose Ink. And, you know, I think it's a great introductory line. You know, there, there are a lot of nice products that she came out with, but the items that stand out to me would be the concealer. I think this is a really great concealer. It's at a good price point. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but you know, it, it was a decent price point. It's supposed to be a hydrating concealer. You know, you only need a little bit. It works really, really well. I think this is definitely a great one. I know I still need to do a concealer roundup video, but let me just say that this and the Chanel are definitely two really good ones. The other product that I really like would be the, um, the blushes. And, you know, she's got some other nice products in there, but these would be the two standouts. I like the cream blush. I think it's a really nice, interesting texture. 
and the concealer. So those are definite repurchases. I did also really enjoy the lip crayons. I think those are nice and I like them. They're not my favorite though. So I would still repurchase them, but you know, if I'm looking for the best of the best, they're not my favorite. Next, we have the Killian Liquid Lipsticks. Now, these do have a very strong fragrance of Love Don't Be Shy. I like the fragrance in general, like I love the Love Don't Be Shy fragrance. It's a little bit too strong for me in a lip product. That being said, the performance on these is incredible. I really love the way that they look on your lips. They truly do make your lips look like rose petals soft. They stay so incredibly well. They're practically mask proof and they're comfortable. So I love the performance. It's just incredibly fragranced. Would I buy them again? I would because the, the quality of the performance outweighs how much I dislike the intensity of the fragrance, if that makes sense. So I have three of these. I really like all of them, but uh, you know, they pretty much all have reds. This is like the only nudish shade that's out there right now. I love the reds. You know, if you're going for a nice classic red, red lip and honestly like liquid reds, I always find them a little bit harder because you have to be so precise putting them on. Uh, I have to say, I really like these. I think, you know, I, I think if you're looking for a red lip that really stays put, it's a good option. Next, we have a couple items from NARS. So this is the NARS Climax eyeshadow palette. And I did, I really like this one. I think the shimmers in particular are what I really like from this palette. They are creamy and smooth. They've got, you know, a nice metallic finish to them. I really like having the green and the blue in here. So I really like this color story in general. This I would repurchase. I think it's a really great palette and it made me want to try more things from NARS because I haven't bought things from NARS in many, many years now. So I picked up the holiday palette, which, you know, I like it. Um, based on how much blush has come out this year, you know, honestly, I'd probably still repurchase it, but I try to get it on sale. Um, I think it just, it looks really pretty on the cheeks. The actual finish of the blush is really nice. The Bake Chalet formula isn't my favorite. Uh, I prefer something, you know, maybe a, a little bit, a little easier to pick up, but I love the way it looks on the, the cheeks. So it's a like, but not a love. Um, I'd probably still pick it up though, but try to get it on sale, which, you know, Sephora's friends and family event is happening starting October 1st through the 10th. You need to get a code from a Sephora, Sephora associate, but you can check like Reddit and Instagram people who work at Sephora are passing out codes. So if you're interested, check that out. If you are not a like Rouge member, then this is your best opportunity for a sale from Sephora because it's 20% off. And when the VIB sale happens during November, you know, it, it'll be tiered again, like the 10, 15, 20. So um, moving on, we have the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. And I like this palette. I would repurchase this. I think it's a nice palette. That being said, I don't use all of the shades. So if I could pick and choose some of the shades from here, I definitely would. So like, I love these three. I love um, Helio down here at the bottom, the Nude Mauve, the Swing. Uh, the psychedelic, Opart, you know, like there are definitely shades in here that I gravitate more so than others. So we have kind of some warmer shades and some cooler shades. And for the most part, I prefer the ones that are a little bit cooler in this palette. So I would repurchase it. I think it's really nice. Um, so yeah, that that is one that I would get again. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. You can see you can do really like easy light looks. This is just two shades. And yeah, I really like that one. Moving on to Clay de Poe Holiday. I like the Clay de Poe Holiday Collection. I don't love all of the packaging. There are a couple standouts for me from it. So the cream blushes, I love the Clay de Poe Cream Blush Formula. These are a definite repurchase. The Luminizers. I picked up both of them and I really like both of them. So 
This here is 102. I believe this one's gonna be exclusive to the Clay Poe website. I haven't seen any other retailers get this in. I absolutely love it. That one's my favorite. Uh, if I had to pick one thing from the collection, it would be either a cream blush or that luminizer. But I love both of the cream blushes, so you can't make me choose there. Um, and then this is 103, which I also really like. And yeah, I would definitely pick those up. I also really like the formula of these lip shines and the lipstick set is also a good value if you want to try those out and you like those formulas and those shades. Uh, so I'd say for me, I would repurchase everything I picked up from the Clay de Poe holiday collection, but the standouts for me are the cream blushes and the luminizers. Those are just, I, I absolutely love them. And moving on, we have the West Mendes Halle iPods, which I was on the fence about getting. As soon as you know she announced that she was adding more iPods, I was like, nope, not getting them. Didn't really like the other ones that much. But when I saw the color story, I had to pick them up. And I have to say, I've been wearing these more and I like them. They do crease on me, but if I just smudge like a little bit on my lid for a very light, barely there kind of look, it works nicely and on my skin, you know, these shades are a little bit deeper, like the, the green and so forth, it's a little bit deeper. So I, I can get away with that, you know, and still have it show up pigmented. And so I would repurchase these ones again. Um, I do think it would be great to get them on sale though. So $88 I think is a little steep for what they are. So I would definitely try to get them on sale. Sephora carries Westman Atelier, and I believe these are currently available at Sephora. So we'll see if they're in sale during or in stock during the sale. But I think if you're interested in them, that would be a good way to check those out. And then the Suku Squirrel Hair Brushes. I really like those. I've been, you know, <laughs> I've been using them. And after I posted my video on those, that's when we found out, or that's when I found out that they are being discontinued. So if you want them and you find them somewhere, pick them up while you can. But I did order, you know, I, I found that the Kyrado Kiwami cheek brush and large eyeshadow brush are pretty similar to the Suku cheek and L brush. So I ordered the Kyrado powder brush as well to see whether or not it's similar to the Suku face brush, which is really, really hard to get. So that is coming anytime now, and then I will definitely post something about that. We'll do a comparison, hoping it arrives today, actually. And, but yeah, all of the Suku brushes are a repurchase. <laughs> and then the Byredo lipsticks, I absolutely love these. They are on sale at Saks right now. Saks is doing 15% off beauty and fragrances until October 4th, but there are exclusions. The Byredo lipsticks, however, are included. I love all four of these new shimmery nude shades. This one here is Damps and Jam. I think it's a beautiful shade. Um, you know, I love all of them. Three of the shades are very pearly. Feverish is very sparkly. Let me see which one here is Feverish. I just think these are such a great, comfortable formula and they're like a modern 90s vibe, you know, both in color and finish. Absolutely love them, highly recommend those. And then we have the Dior Blush in 361. This is the limited edition one from Dior's website with the flowers on it. And I love the way this looks on the skin. It is a little firmly pressed, um, more like a baked gelée type formula. Not quite there, but more similar to that. And I love the way it looks on my complexion, on my skin. So it is a repurchase for me. It's one I'm really enjoying. So I really like that one. Moving on to M Cosmetics. I picked up two of the Cosmic Pearl eyeshadows and I love the way these look on the eyes. This one here is called Moonrise. And I think it is an absolutely gorgeous product. And I love the colors of the two I picked up, Luna and Moonrise, but they don't last very long. However, I like them enough that I would still repurchase them. 
but I'd only recommend them if you are aware that they won't last very long. So what happens is it, they don't become a crazy mess or anything, but they do shift down lower. So by the end, it looks more like I just have like a thick eyeliner on instead. I don't notice it like all over my face or anything. So I'm really not sure where, where the product goes, but it never, it never actually looks bad as it's fading really. So I still like them. I would still repurchase them. Um, but they are not a love because of the way that they perform on my skin. And then moving on to Bobbi Brown, we have the Lux Defining Lipsticks and I really like these. I think these are a nice formula. It's a new lipstick line. I would definitely repurchase those. And the Opalescent Dream eyeshadow palette. This I probably would not repurchase. I think it's a nice basic. And if you are in need of something like this in your collection, that's great. But there wasn't really anything unique or special about this. So, um, you know, it's just, it's not a must get. And then we have the La Perla lipsticks and lip balm. I would pick up a lip balm and a lipstick. I picked up two lipsticks. I don't think the nude red I would pick up again. Um, that's the more nude one. It's just, it's a little bit warm. It turns a little orangey-ish on me. But the Venetian red that I picked up is really nice. So I really like the color, but only pick these up if you're interested in like a heavier, thicker formula. Um, you know, they feel a little bit more like a uh, clean beauty kind of lipstick. The lip balm I find very comfortable and these do have a scent, although there's no added fragrance. So just something to note, but yeah, I would pick up the lip balm in the pink that I did and the Venetian red lipstick again. And then hair products, Lola V and JVN. The JVN air dry cream, I would not pick up again. It's just not great for my hair type. And they did contact me and tell me that it's really better for like curly or wavy hair and so forth, which it does not say, or it did not say on the website when I purchased it. But anyway, um, so that I would not purchase again. The Lola V detangling spray, I would pick up. Now, real quickly, just some other favorites. I've been trying a ton of things this month, but some other things I'm still using from recent months would be, well, I'm actually I'm using a lot of the new Tom Ford lip products. I'll have a video on those soon, but I'm also using new products from Sisley. They came out with some new twist products, uh, new shades in the twist products. So I've been using some of the new eye twists and the lip twists. This one here is 24. I'll have a video on this one soon as well. Absolutely love it. I've been wearing it a ton. I've been wearing the Byredo lipsticks a lot. And I'm still wearing the Givenchy Sheer Velvet. It's like all the time. That's what I have on today. This is one of the newer shades I picked up. This is 17 Rouge Arabla. So I'll have a video up with swatches of the new shades that I picked up uh, relatively soon in time for the Sephora sale or during the Sephora sale rather so that you can see those shades. I was trying to get a couple more, but uh, I ordered them and they sent the wrong shades. So uh, those are basically some other things that I've been wearing for foundations. I've been wearing a lot of the Givenchy Prisma Libra foundation still, and then also the Sislea Latent foundation and the Chanel. Those are kind of the ones I've been using a lot this month. Concealers, I've been using the two that I mentioned plus the Tom Ford. Uh, those have become like go-tos eyeshadows, I'm kind of all over the place. And same thing with lipsticks and blushes, just using like a lot of things that I already have. So I hope this was helpful. I'd love to know what you guys have been using this month and what your favorites have been. And if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.